Hey, 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 it's another Sunday night. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live stream video focus for the Empowered Spirit Show. This is where we come on live, we look to the cosmos as to what's going on for the week. We align our energy and we look to the cards for guidance. So welcome, welcome everyone. What a crazy week we already have. The cosmos are definitely alive, so much going on. So we start out this week in the last quarter moon. All right, so sometimes that last quarter moon and into the dark of the moon, right before that new moon comes in, you may feel like, hmm, what's going on? Maybe it's like a little crisis of consciousness. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. So much is happening. At this point in the moon cycle, you may just feel like that. You're coming to a point where it's time to kind of really sort out what's been going on this whole month. And now, now Mercury retrograde, full force, really asking us to go back to the beginning of the year and look at what's going on. Time to review. It's not really a time to start anything new. All right. And being that this retrograde has come in full force, it is a good time to slow down, to look at what's going on, and to understand all that you've been processing, all those intentions, all those revelations since the beginning of the year. All right. It's going back and reviewing, and that's going to help you kind of really put some things into perspective. And then that will help you to understand what's next. So really, as you start out this week, it's a really good time to really just take inventory, clean up your desk, clean up your files, clean up your computer, go back, redo, review. All of that energy is coming forward. So as we start out this week, we have the sun in Aquarius. The last few days of being in Aquarius, that's all of that expansion energy we've been looking at. And then it moves into Pisces by middle of the week. So Pisces, again, it's that intuition. It's that deeper part of who you are. It's the last of the zodiac signs, so it has a lot of wisdom that comes forward at this time. So you'll start to notice that shift of energy about midweek when we move through into the sun sign being in Pisces. Again, the moon will be in Pisces, the retrograde will be in Pisces. All of that kind of energy is coming forward as we move through this week, all right? So it's going to kind of be like a, I don't know, I think the best way to look at it is like, okay, what will be will be, what is guiding me through right now? And it's best just to kind of go with the flow and be guided by that inner guidance of what you have, those instincts that are within you. Pisces really does, it rules empathy, selfless love, devotion, wisdom. Really, it does help you to get deeper into who you are. Now, too much Pisces can be a little bit of that self-pity, a feeling of being victimized, elusiveness, all right? We don't wanna really wanna go there. We wanna find the higher vibration of Pisces, all for our highest good, so tune into yourself. Practice some of your intuitive skills. You know me, I'm all about intuition as a decision-making tool. Now's the time really to tap into that. All right, so as we start the week out, we're gonna feel this shift of energy. We're gonna feel some of those craziness things that we always talk about with Mercury Retrograde, but don't get too caught up in the victim energy of it, all right? If you have computer problems, slow down, see what's going on. Traffic problems, same thing. Really definitely giving yourself more time than usual is going to be very, very helpful. All right, we do have a little bit of, of energy of Venus being in Aries, and that's all about, about our relationships. So you may have a little bit more of that direct communication. So with the Mercury combined, you may be needing to be a little bit more careful. I always like to say, reiki your throat if you have an interesting conversation that you need to, to really share with those that are close to you in your relationships, all right? It's a very direct energy. Sometimes can be a little too direct, so careful with that as well, all right? So as we move into this week, we're really going to feel that shift from Aquarius into Pisces. We're going to feel the Mercury energy coming forward, even though it's been in the shadow side since the beginning of the month. Now we're really going to see it, all right? So really taking the time to slow down, to review, renew, recycle, redo all of the energy you've been working with since the beginning of the year, and that's going to help you appreciate the Mercury retrograde. I know for myself, it's kind of like I need it. I need to slow down. I've had so many things come in so fast since January. This is going to offer me that opportunity to really look and understand, weed out what isn't working, and really go with that flow of what the retrograde can offer. Rewire the brain, all right? We were listening some, to some of Dr. Joe Dispenza's work yesterday or over the weekend, and really working with the energy, rewiring your brain for those elevated emotions, don't get caught in the lower vibration, can really help you to understand. And when you change the way that you 
look at things, the way that you put your energy out there, everything around you can shift. And that's a really important um, thing to think about as we move through this week. All right. Definitely as you start out, Monday maybe you have a holiday and that's a great time to do a little cleanup, redo, also tax season, go through and re-clean out your files, all that kind of energy. And then as you move through middle of the week, you're gonna shift even deeper within your own guidance, slowing down as you come forward. And then the dark of the moon will be Thursday, maybe Friday, Saturday, dark of the moon energy. So we always have to be careful around dark of the moon. It can pull us really deep within. Don't let yourself spiral down, but lift up. Find those elevated emotions for you. New moon will come in next Sunday. All right. Take a nice deep inhale and just exhale away. Let's just take a moment. Center our energy for the week ahead. Wherever you are, if you can, go light a little sage. Close your eyes. And just take a nice deep inhale and then just exhale away, feeling the energy releasing out, calling in your spiritual body, feel that alignment coming in, pulling in the, pulling in the auric field, aligning the spiritual body right on top of the physical body, shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet. Take a nice deep inhale, bringing up that earth energy up through the body, up into the higher realms, and as you exhale, bring it back down, exhaling down through the legs and the feet, deep into the earth. And again, inhaling and exhaling. Let's just take this time to connect with our inner guidance, to call in our higher self. As we call in the masters, the teachers, the archangels, aligning with your higher guidance. Taking this time to feel very present. Here we are in the season of winter. As we look to the teachings of the medicine wheel, we find this direction in the direction of the north for winter. We honor our dreams, our visions, the energy of our ancestors, calling them in, calling in the directions for guidance and protection for this week, calling in that intention you'd like to set right in that third eye center to the north, the east, the south, and the west, above us, below us, right into the very center. Notice how you will feel as these intentions come in and allow those elevated emotions to lift. The peace, the love, the abundance, the affluence, whatever it may be for you. And allow those energies to radiate out, out through the auric field, shine it out. Sending a little Reiki out there to you. Let those elevated emotions guide you this week, releasing the attachments to the intentions. Take another deep inhale and exhale, centering your energy, Just feeling that peace, that joy, that love all around you. Taking one more deep inhale and exhale. Starting to bring the awareness back, holding on to those beautiful emotions. Let that peace surround you, bringing the awareness back. As we go to look for the cards this week, the first card that is our anchor card for all of us is the Nine of Wands. So this is a card that talks about really building all the steps, using your passions, your desires, building it up. What may look like little scraggly weeds and all, really that's just weed out what you need to. Keep building your practice. Use that intuitive energy of the moon. Nines are always about a little bit more coming in, all right? We're not yet complete, so keep doing your work. Keep working with the passions, the why of what you're doing. Look how the colors start to shift as you move up. Keep climbing those steps one at a time. It does add up. Beautiful card for all of us. Now, if you chose card one, we have the three of cups. So this is a really fun card because it reminds us to celebrate our accomplishments, to really surround ourselves with those that are really important so that we can celebrate. All right. It also reminds us, especially with the retrograde coming up, and just ask yourself, are you hanging out with the people that make you feel really good? So it's a really little bit both ways of looking at this card. We've got that beautiful warm energy rising up. We've got the three birds together. So aligning that energy and really singing and chanting and being with those that make you feel well and good about what you're doing. So a great way to build those confidence, that heart energy so that you can continue step by step building your work, your passions and your desires. The next card, I always love this card, is the hanged man. 
All right, so in this particular deck of the Wild Unknown, she always shows a little bat for this card. It's like wrapped up in its own wings. And look at the eyes. So this is the opportunity, great card for retrograde. This is the opportunity for you to slow down, for you to go within, for you to use the other senses to determine what it is in your life you're looking for. Have a different perspective. All right, I always love this card. Pull yourself in, take a chill, slow down, hang upside down, all right? A few handstands or legs up the wall, as I like to do, and look at life from a different perspective, inner guidance. Very important, again, right in alignment with the energies we're moving through. The third card, this is the Six of Cups. Sixes, sixes are interesting. It's two threes, all right? And this shows us as below, so above, or as above, so below, however you want to look at it. But this always reminds me to really dig my roots in, to really ground my energy, to really spread that underground root system that connects us to all. When we are grounded, when we are stronger in our foundation, we can grow so much stronger. And really that heart energy, that connection, I am you and you are me, that connection to all. Bring the energy of your generations, all right? Bring that childhood energy forward, especially the memories that are really good and allow yourself to build upon that. All right, so just to review, keep doing your work, use the moon to tune in one step at a time is how we get there. Celebrate with those you love and be check in or those you love, the ones you wanna surround yourself with. Go within, hang upside down, have patience with yourself, use that inner guidance, dig in, dig those roots down, open up the roots, open up the heart, connecting to each and every one. So just taking a nice deep inhale, letting it all settle in for you. Notice how these will apply as you move through this week. All right, lots of great stuff going on. If you didn't hear the podcast, it dropped on Saturday. It was a really great podcast, Eat to Live with Reiki. As I interviewed Jennifer Askew Dunbar from Harvest Moon, she really talks about how Reiki started in her life and how it moved into her kitchen and now into her business. Great episode. You can find it on my website, terryannhyman.com, or the link in the show notes, or the link in the bio, wherever this shows up, all right? It will be there for you. Check it out. Great episode. Reiki Circle, as always, Wednesday nights at Birmingham Yoga, 530, followed by Restorative Yoga. Come join in. The class has been lights. You'll get lots of attention. Come join us. My Reiki Master Retreat, yay, is in full force of registration, half full, so come on in and join me. June 5th, the first weekend in June 5th through 7th at Bliss Farms and Retreat. There is still some accommodations left. Check it out. Come join us. Reiki Mastery is definitely a study in the own self of self-mastery. All right. I'm also offering some Akashic clearings as I finish up my Akashic training. Definitely very interesting. We've been doing them on Zoom. The Zoom link you can find in my Empowered Spirit Circle. Come over there and join me if you're not in it. Free clearings. We've been doing a lot of fun things. We're going to be doing them for the next couple of weeks until I finish all of my training. So join in through Zoom only. All right. Let's just take a moment, closing the energy, feeling yourself aligning for your week. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Setting those intentions. We wire the brain slow down as you move through these next couple of weeks. Tune into that inner guidance that you have. Tune into your spirit. Align your energy for this week. Thanks again for joining me. This is your host, Terry Ann Hyman. To your spirit, namaste.